Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to watch Demo Player with VR Spectate How To Series. In this video we're going to talk about the player state. What is the player state? Well whenever we start a demo player um, recording, uh, it actually spawns in another player controller which also spawns in a player state. And what can happen sometimes is sometimes you will have menu displays like avatars for all the players uh, as an array, a player array, um, player state array. Uh, for the client side and there's really no way to tell that this fake player uh, isn't really a, a fake player, a real player. So the player state that we provide gives you a flag. It's called demo uh, player is demo spectator. So we'll go ahead and create the class now. Uh, I'll go ahead and right click and new blueprint, blueprint class and we'll go to player state. Player state and then we want to use the demo player state. Just like that. I'll do it PS for player state aiming convention underscore re player replay player state just for ease here and then there we go and now we go in here and it's just uh, the same as a regular player state except for that one exact flagged. Uh, if you have existing players, they go ahead and just reparent it. We'll go ahead and open it up, go to File, and go to Reparent Blueprint. And I want to go to Player State again, Demo Player State. And now the parent class is now Demo Player State. Awesome. Cool. We'll save that up. And if I want to go ahead and open this uh, full editor and Demo is Demo Spectator. So now we have this flag is demo spectator, and that allows us to check if this is uh, a fake player during the recording or not. And that's something that's pretty important for menus and things that you're checking the, the player state array uh, on the client side. So that's again, this is optional. This is something you don't have to put in, but it's a, I put it provided because I used it and it was pretty helpful. So again, if you have any questions, leave comments and I'll uh, answer those. Uh, if, uh, if you wanted to add other things, this is a, definitely a place to do it, specifically the demo. Uh, each of these classes can be extended pretty easily. So go ahead and save this up. And then we will want to go ahead and change the player state um, for deathmatch, the one I just created. There we go. Uh, we could also do that in game mode too, change the player state here. Uh, yes, it carried over. Oh, that's interesting. So it's good to know that it does carry over from the details panel to here. So now that's all been saved. And again, uh, that is optional. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a, a comments below. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.